Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Um, this is an unboxing, although I have unboxed it. I honestly, I, I do not like to smell them until I get the first reaction with you guys. Is that weird? I have no idea, but um, this one, which is Versace, it's called Versace Crystal Noir. Um, this is a mi little mini, but what I didn't realize was, and I'm bad for this, because I also made the same mistake with another fragrance, which I will talk about in a second. Uh, this is the Eau de Toilette. And I opened this last night to look at the bottle, and then you know what happens after that. Like, you know, curiosity gets the better of you. And look at this little cute bottle. Is that not adorable? Yes, it is adorable. It is a gorgeous bottle. Mm. But the fragrance inside here is not the same as the Eau de Parfum. This smells straight up. Now, don't hate me if you love this. If you love the EDT, don't hate me. But this smells straight up like detergent and gets worse and worse. And it hasn't got, it doesn't have a little sprayer on it. And it reminds me of something in my past, not my childhood, but something, um, when I was maybe a teenager or something like that, this smells very familiar to me, but I tried and tried and tried to think what it was. And I just cannot, but it is, it is trying really hard in my brain to scramble out a memory that this reminds me of. Now, I don't like it, I won't wear it. Um, so I did go on to Fragrantica and um, looked it up. And exactly what I said this smells like is what most people said. Now, there were a few people that just absolutely love it. And this was such a disappointment because I ordered the EDT. Um, it was $4.99, you know, and I just loved this little miniature. And I thought this is a good way of testing um, to see if I wanted the bigger bottle. So I'm still in the dark whether I like the Eau de Parfum or not, so uh, the jury's still out on that, but um, I know you, Abby, you're talking about getting it, so um, it's not the Eau de Toilette that you were talking about. So anyway, this was $4.99, which is about the same cost of a tester, so it's not a big loss, but it is a cute little bottle. So first of all, this was a blind buy. It is Adidas Born Original. And that's what the box looks like. It did not come in cellophane. It's not sealed up. Uh, but I read the notes on this one and uh, it sounds really, really nice. It's, uh, it has got um, opening notes of a cocktail of bergamot, apricot and orange peel. The heart captures exotic coconut, candied apple and jasmine placed on the base of tonka bean, cedar, and olive wood. Now this sounds really, really nice. And this was the, um, this is the um, tester. So I don't believe it comes with a lid, but I'm not sure, I'm not for sure. And um, this was $12.99, like seriously, $12.99 Canadian. You can't beat it. So this is what it looks like. And this is the lid that it, Okay, so it just came with this kind of lid. Um, it's a beautiful bottle. It's a glass bottle. Now we're going to we're going to spray this, and let's see if it smells as good as the notes are. There we go. Okay, let's spray it on the lid. Uh, right off the bat, I get. Um, the orange Ooh, this is nice oh guys this is really nice 
It's powdery, it's fresh, and it reminds me of something else. I don't know what it is, but this is impressive. If you have tried this, I would love to hear your opinion on it. It is so nice. It is really nice, very fresh, very powdery, very sweet. Um, it's making my mouth water. What did it say it was in it? Yeah, apricot, orange peel, coconut. Let's see if we can smell the coconut now. So far I'm just getting um, apricot, very, very fruity. I don't think there's any floral in here. Um, candied apple, jasmine, yeah. A little bit of jasmine coming out now. I don't smell the coconut, but um, so far this is a good blind buy. And I'm going to come back uh, with another video with all of these blind buys that I did and I'm going to review them and how I like them. So this Vera Wang Embrace uh, was $4.99, regular $59. And this was a clearance buy. And uh, it's a 30 mil tester. And uh, you know what? I would pay $4.99 for a sample just to try it. So even if I don't like it, I can pass this on to someone else, give it to someone else, because I was intrigued by the ingredients in this one. And it is, uh, and I can still smell that Adidas one, it smells delicious. Um, this one is a floral woody musk fragrance. Uh, the nose behind the fragrance is Natasha Coat. Um, top notes are mango and melon, middle notes are gardenia, marigold and orange blossom. Base notes are cardamom, sandalwood, cedar and musk. So let's try this one. I'm excited. $4.99 guys. $4.99. Oh. Let's see if I can get into it. It did not come with the lid. It's a beautiful glass bottle. And let's spray that. <clears throat> I love being outside. Here we go. Yes. This is very nice. Mm. Another fruity one, another summer one. So what I will do is put these away for next summer. I will spray them and test them and then I'll put them away for the summer because this one's coming off a little bit sharper. Let's see what the reason of that is. Um, if there's too much musk in it, it will put me off and the cardamom may put me off as well. So um, yeah, it does open with the mango and the melon starting to smell the flowers now and the orange blossom very easy fragrance not very offensive at all I am getting a hint of spice which is cardamom as it dries down but um, all in all it's not bad it's it's not bad for four is not a blind buy and it's Alien Muggler. And this is the Eau de Parfum. I did not make a mess up on that one. I definitely got the right one. And this is the Eau de Parfum Intense Talisman Refillable. Now this was the refillable. This was a great deal on, um, oh, and I forgot to say that I got these at Lisa's Cosmetics Fragrance Incorporated, and I'll link that down below. It's a Canadian site. And it is only available uh, in Canada and shipping in Canada, but the deals are out of this world. And this one cost me, where are you? Um, must be on the next page. I did buy quite a few. Yeah, Theory Muggler Alien Essence Absolute, 
30 mil and that cost me $64.99 and that is actually a very good deal for this one. This is not a tester. It is a gorgeous bottle. Look at that. It's sealed. It's sealed up. It's in a beautiful, beautiful box. So I'm going to open that off camera. <clears throat> so here we are. Here's the box again and this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Yes, this is beautiful. Look at that. It comes with a little envelope. That bottle. Is that not the most divine looking? Let's see if I can get it out of the box. Okay, it's not coming out of the box. Okay, here we go. That's the box. That's the, the bottle. Look at that. Look at the detail on that. Isn't that beautiful? I've heard some people say it looks like a, a bum, <laughs> like a bottom, someone's bottom. I love it. It looks lovely. And this little envelope, let's just see what it says inside. It gives you enter a universe of privilege and exclusives. Always be the first to know about the brand. Share the opinion about your favorite products. Join the circle. Oh, okay. Oh, so there is a unique code located on the inner flap of the box. Right here. And you go to the Moogler.com, click on the circle section and register your code. How cool is that? I'm excited. Okay, I'll have to look into that. All right, so let's spray her. And we'll spray her in the box. No, I'm gonna spray her on my body. Look at the sprayer on that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> See, that is what I'm talking about. That is so divine. This is a gourmand, and the notes of this are, are white jasmine flowers, aureus root, animalistic, black vanilla pod, incense, myrrh, white amber, and cashmere wood. And I have smelt a sample of this because Abby um, sent me this, sent me a sample of this and I fell in love with it immediately so I had to have it. The bottle alone is divine and for that price, um, it, I mean it's, it's a steal like it really is and I believe this one is discontinued so it's very very hard to find so and this is a refillable bottle which is so the original alien came out in 2005 and then the alien essence absolute in the summer of 2012 why do they discontinue these like what is the purpose of discontinuing a fragrance like this this is popular people are dying to get their hands on this and um, you know, I just don't understand that. I really don't. So I hope they bring it back because it is a delicious fragrance. Can't wait to wear this for the winter. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just gonna be one of my go-to. I can see me sleeping in this at night um, on a cozy, cozy winter day when it's freezing cold outside and you're sitting by the fireplace, lovely wrapped up in a blanket watching Netflix. I can, you know, I can, it just smells delicious. So, um, the nose behind this is, um, Pierre Alos. Um, and, uh, the bottle design is inspired by the classic alien, uh, bottled style and gold drops used as talismans in the Orient. So yes, it looked, it, it's very Oriental looking. It's beautiful. So yeah, so that one is the 30 mil bottle. And uh, yeah, I can see this becoming one of my all time favorites. So yeah, that was not a blind buy. That was 
definitely and I wouldn't purchase a blind buy and spend $60 on a blind buy you know I mean I just wouldn't these other ones that I purchased were cheap and I would spend that kind of money on samples so um, I'm justifying spending the money on fragrances that I may never use again <laughs> but that's that's that is the world of fragrances that is what we do we we buy samples we try them out we love them we hate them we pass them on and I like to keep my collection to only perfumes that I use on a regular basis. If I don't love them and they don't bring me joy, then I will purse them out. And I'd like to keep my collection um, around 20 to 25. Uh, for me personally, that's comfortable. It's a comfortable level for me. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> so the next one is an unboxed fragrance. I made the mistake of ordering the EDT instead of the EDP. I love the EDP because Abby sent me a sample of that one as well. And I went on and I was not paying attention and I ordered the EDT. Um, so I hope, I hope this is as good and just more of a watered down version. And that is it. It's a lighter pink. The, um, the EDP is a darker um, color. Uh, it's a really nice bottle and it's glass plastic lid but it's a pretty bottle uh, and it was let me get the price on that one it was not terribly expensive um, it was $49.99 for this one and then when I went back on the site again to see what I had done and the mistake I had made I realized that the EDP was only ten dollars more and I could kick myself but it's you know I can't return them so uh, as far as I know I can check and see if I don't like it if I can return it and reorder the EDP but let's try it and see if it's good enough for me to keep so let's see I'm gonna spray that on as well I like the smell first off I like it <sighs> yep it's got that powdery kind of this is very underrated this fragrance I'm uh, really liking this so far I'm enjoying this one but I will compare it to the uh, the Ida perfume this is the sample that Abby sent thank you Abby this is one of quite a few um, and I'm going to spray this one um, up here and compare the smell, compare the, the notes. This one automatically opens up with a little bit more peppery. Let's spray that one again. Hmm. And then it immediately almost blends into this, just this stunning floral smell. But it hangs on to the, pe to the pepper, a little bit more peppery. This one does not have pepper in it. Let's just, just compare the notes here. E.T. Um, opens with bergamot and lemon, followed by raspberry, strawberry, apple, spices, rose, and tuberose. Base notes are vitifer, amber, and white musk. So this one is, it is nice but it doesn't smell the same as the ADP. So I may have to get my hands on the ADP. But I think this is worth keeping because it is nice. It's just very subtle and I... So yeah, I would probably save this for the summer.
This one takes a long time to lose the pepper uh, and then it goes more into a floral and this one is a bit more fruity. So that's how I would compare them. This one is peppery and floral. This one is fruity and powdery and it's still nice so I will keep it. It's very fresh. Okay, so this next one is for my husband who is also a lover of fragrance and it is a oldie but a goodie. Can you guess what it is? It is Davidoff Cool Water. And I have not smelt this on a man in many many years many years and i've been threatening to buy it for a while and i picked it up for a steal of course um it was 19.99 for a 125 ml bottle this is a tester bottle so let's see if it comes with the lid or not some of them do some of them don't this one came with the lid look at the size of that bottle Look at that. So I'm about to spray this for the first time in many, many years. And it's a lovely bottle. It's very nice. I'm about to spray it for the first time in many years. And this gives me, um, hopefully, good memories of when I was a child and someone dear to me who has now passed away wore this as his signature fragrance for forever this was his favorite fragrance and my husband has never worn it so um i'm dying to try it out and see if it brings back memories of this special special man who was in my life when i was a child very special man so let's give it a spray Here we come. Oh my goodness. I have to spray that again. This is, this is classy for 20 bucks. This fragrance is so fresh. It's fresh. I don't know what's in it, so I'm going to have a guess at it. I don't think I have, I don't think I have the notes of this one. I don't. I don't have the notes of this one. So I'm going to have a stab at it. It's fresh. It's, um, this reminds me of a day at the beach. I'm spraying that again. And who doesn't want their man to smell of this? Um, I can't wait for my man to wear this and the notes of this are um, this is very much for the summer though this this is this is incredible it smells like the ocean to me the cool breeze um, cool water eau de toilette spray um, was released back in 1988 by Davidoff. This light, watery scent is ideal for everyday wear with its tempting blend of mannish notes to refresh the senses and leave you feeling vital and confident. Sea water, hey, I told you I could smell the beach in this one. Mint, sea water and mint. It's not overly minty though, but, and I, because I don't, I don't particularly like a lot of mint in a fragrance, either on my man or on myself. Um, but it it it, it um, provides an exciting open that mellows to a middle of sandalwood, giving it a slightly exotic twang. Tobacco and cedar at the scent's base lend it a smoky, woodsy finish that's memorable and masculine. And yeah. It is really nice. I do smell that, that kind of um, manly tobacco smell in there. 
but it's very well blended with that fresh minty sea breeze so yeah okay so last but not least <laughs> this is going to be and the reason I'm leaving this one to the last is because I may absolutely hate it but I picked this up for $20 yes $20 it is the Eau de Parfum it is by Theory Mugler and it comes in this box it says here Womanity a woody sweet and savory Eau de it's a very rebellious looking bottle that's what I think of this as being like the woman who is a rebel that's how I look at it and let's have a look see if I can get the top off it how does it come off <laughs> there we go look at that I love that now I love that and it's like a ring yeah <laughs> I can see I could see a rebel woman wearing this absolutely and inside it comes with I'm putting this off as long as possible it comes with a um, this pouch is offered with the compliment of theory mugler to protect your refillable bottle and it oh isn't that cool comes with this little pouch $20 ladies but I could hate it but somebody out there loves it okay let's give it a spray I'm, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous about this because this could smell really bad. This is very salty. It has essence of, um, what is it, caviar? So that would make it salty. Three, two, one go that's not bad that's not bad Whew. no that's not bad now i haven't sprayed it on my skin because i'm way too chicken to do that that is not bad guys i'm spraying that again Just spray it in the air If you have tried this or you own this, I would love to hear your opinion on it. That smells good. It's very, very different. This is definitely something completely outside my box. It has a note in there that I'm in love with. Let me just look up, let me just quickly look that up and see what, what is in it exactly. The notes of it are fig for sweet accords. The savory notes are originated from caviar and the structure is ensued by fig wood aroma. Hmm. I don't know what to say about that. That doesn't really tell you what's in it, does it? Yeah, it's um, woody, sweet, and savory. It's burnt. But this is very nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. So that was the last one. And um, I hope you enjoyed this little um, unboxing. And uh, I will see you all on the next video. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Bye.